That was Since Yesterday, probably the most well-known song by the duo Strawberry Switchblade. I have with me on Revenge of the 80s, the band's former lead singer, Rose McDowell. Thank you. Rose, through your career, you had a hand in forming four bands, and Strawberry Switchblade wasn't the first. You started the poems in the late 70s at a very young age. Yeah, well, it's, it's a funny story, actually. Lots of my friends were in bands in Glasgow, and we went to a concert to see the Ramones, and me and my boyfriend at the time, and we were just so inspired by the Ramones and thought if they can do it, we can do it. So we formed the band and I was the drummer in that band and I did some singing too. And it sort of, it ran parallel at one point because I decided to form Strawberry Switchblade and I was in both bands at the same time for a while until Strawberry Switchblade got quite busy and then I had to drop the poems. That's why the poems ended. Um, Strawberry Switchblade began. Before Strawberry Switchblade rose, you got into the music through being part of the history-making UK punk scene. Talk about its influence on not only your music style, but your life. Well, my life has been a big influence on my songwriting because I, I'm i often singing about things that have actu- that are actually really ha- that have happened in my life. And I drew a lot of inspiration from my childhood as well growing up in Glasgow and the conditions that I grew up in, which weren't, weren't exactly great. I lived in quite a rough area of Glasgow, and that was quite tough. In a 1985 interview with Smash Hits magazine, you said you were a potato picker in your early teens. Yeah, well, when I was at school, I in the summer holidays, I picked potatoes for pocket money. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get from there to the UK punk scene? Oh, it was as soon as punk happened, I was right in. I was right in on it. It was punk for me was liberation because I was a teenage girl. I was very sort of well. You know what it's like when you're a teenager trying to find your place and in, in life. And when punk happened, it just gave me the freedom to be who I was and not to have to conform to anything. It just validated that and. Basically, it was the best thing that ever happened to me, punk. You met future partner Jill Bryson on the scene. How did Strawberry Switchblade form? Well, Jill, Jill Bryson was a friend, was a girlfriend of a good friend of mine, and we used to hang out together. Um, and I told her I was going to form a band, and she said, oh, can I be in it? Um, it was as simple as that, basically. I just said yes, and I said I was going to be the singer and guitarist. And she was going to be the guitarist and do backing vocals and we started off like that and then we actually recruited another two girls a drummer and a bass player but that didn't work out so we went back to a duet again where did you get the name strawberry switchblade james kirk from orange juice a band called orange juice in glasgow he had this name he was going to make a fanzine and he decided not to, to do the fanzine and I said, but you must do it, it's such a good name. And he said, well, you can have it. And I basically had the name and formed the band. I read that you actually taught yourself both the 12-string guitar, which would later become a staple instrument for your music, and how to write music. Who were some of your early musical influences? Um, A lot of my influences came from my dad, actually, because he was a big music lover. And he had loads of records from the 50s and 60s. And that was a big inspiration. I got to listen to a lot of the variety of music. And my babysitters played different music. So I was I was exposed to music quite a lot when I was young. And I always wanted to be involved in music. Um, when I was in school, um, the careers officer came around and was asking everyone what they wanted to do. I said I wanted be a brain surgeon or a pop star and everyone in the class started laughing and then when I was on top of the pops I remember thinking I wonder if they're laughing now. (laughs) (laughs) That must have been a lot of fun in those career days. Yeah it was, it was really good fun. Back when you formed Strawberry Switchblade you were taking care of all the gigs for them and the poems but you were also taking care of your young daughter. That's a lot of work, what kept you going? I don't know, I think I just had like, I, I just had a lot of drive really basically in my head and my parents taught me that you can do anything you want if you try hard enough. So 
So I just believed in what I was doing and um, obviously I had a husband who could help look after the child um, who was Drew McDowell who was in the poems as well. It was pretty hectic but I managed it somehow. Rose McDowell of the band Strawberry Switchblade is my guest on Revenge of the 80s. Straight ahead, we'll talk about the quick rise of Strawberry Switchblade. I'm Chris. This is Revenge of the 80s.